DV5 introduces a host of improvements not only behind the scenes but also in the way you interact with Visual Builder. While the overall interface might feel similar to long-time users, several enhancements have been made to improve efficiency and make website building faster and more intuitive. So in this video, we are going to explore the key changes and improvements in DV5's interface that are designed to streamline your workflow and enhance your design experience. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV page builder. So let's explore the key changes in DV5 interface. Starting with the point number one and that is one click editing. So let me show you how it looks. So here we are inside DV5 Visual Builder. We have imported a sample site here. We no longer need to click on the settings icon here and then dive into the content settings. We can simply click on this module and then we can start typing anything here. So this is how easy it is now. So this definitely reduces the number of clicks required to access settings, saving time and making the design process smoother, especially when working with multiple modules on your page. Next up is right click for controls. Now if we come back here, if we right click on any of these modules like this one, here we can see some quick edit option like edit heading, duplicate or delete heading and a lot of more. Similarly, if we click on any other module, we will find the similar options depending upon what module we are working on. This option significantly speeds up tasks like duplicating styles across modules or making quick adjustment without searching for the sidebar for the right setting. Next up is multi-panel docking and tabbed panels. Now one of the most powerful feature in DV5 is the introduction of multi-panel docking and tab panels. In DV4, managing complex designs could be feel overwhelming. The single panel setup means constantly switching between different settings. But in DV5, you can now open multiple settings panels simultaneously and dock them inside side by side. This is especially helpful when working on different parts of the page and need quick access to multiple settings simultaneously. You can also organize these panels into tabs making it easy to switch between them without losing track of your work. Next option is light and dark mode. Now right now what you see here is actually the light mode of TV5 Visual Builder. If we go on the top right here, we have an option to toggle between light and dark mode. If we click on this, we now enter the dark mode for DV5 Visual Builder, which I like the most for editing any website. But depending upon your preferences, you can choose dark or the light mode. Next up is responsive, hover or sticky editing improvements. Now in the previous version of DV, responsive editing, hover effects or sticky positioning requires enabling these features at the option level. But with DV5, these features are now available directly in the settings panel, allowing you to make adjustments faster without needing to enable them first. So let's say we are done with the designing of our page and now I want to see how different elements are going to perform once I do the mouse hover. And with DV5, we can do it really easily. All we need to do is just head over to this icon right here on the top right corner. And then if we click on this, here we have an option for hover. If we click on this, and now we can see or edit the hover effect for any module on this page. For example, for this page, if I click on this, for this column, so instead of white, maybe I want to change it to a little bit gray, something like that. And then if I just come back here on the desktop version again and then click on preview to see how it looks in the front end. So now if I mouse over on my module, this is how my hover effect will work. So once I have selected the hover option here, now I can go ahead and edit any module on this page and customize its hover effect. So you don't have to select module again and again when you are working on different module on the page. And this is a real time saver. Next up is settings panel breadcrumbs. Navigating to the nested settings of module in DV4 often left users confused about where they are. Without a clear path back, it can be easy to get lost while you are making adjustment on the page, especially on some complex designs. Now DV5 introduces a new feature that is breadcrumbs in the settings panel. This small but helpful addition make it easier to navigate through different layers or settings, especially when you are working on complex modules. Now let me show you how it looks. Now on this page, if I go ahead and click on this text here, on the right hand side, we can go ahead and edit all the settings about this text. But in order to change any settings for this column here, 
I can simply go ahead and use this breadcrumb on the very top right corner. So right now we are inside the settings for this text module. So we can jump on to the column and then see all the settings for that. I can go ahead and select row from here and then it's going to show us all the settings related to this row. So again, let's try it for this section. If I click on this text here, right now I can see the settings about this text module. And just above our settings panel, we have these breadcrumbs. So if I want to edit the settings about my column, so I can click here. If I want to edit settings about this row, I can click here. So this is how I can navigate through the nested design. Next up is canvas scaling and this one is my favorite. In Divi 4, designing for different screen sizes could be cumbersome. But with Divi 5 canvas scaling, you can quickly switch between desktop, tablet and mobile views and adjusting your design in real time to ensure it looks perfectly on every screen size. So let me show you how it looks. So here we have our Divi 5 visual editor. Now, in order to see how it looks in different devices, we can use the device switching option on the top. We can use the desktop or we can see how it looks on tablet or on the mobile. Along with that, let's come back on desktop. Now, in order to see how it looks on different screen sizes, we can also use canvas scaling. So for that, we need to take our mouse on the right hand side panel. We can now drag this canvas towards left to see how my website design will look on different screen sizes. In the same way, we can expand our canvas to its normal state. And now we are back on the desktop view. Next up is lean, mean and animation free. DV5 is designed to be lean, mean and animation free by striping away anything that doesn't directly benefit the user. Instead of being weighted down by unnecessary features or flashy effect, DV5 focuses purely on performance and usability. DV5 has been rebuilt from ground up, focusing on elementing bloated outdated code. The result is, faster and more efficient builder that delivers smoother performance while reducing load time and server resources. So DB5 Visual Builder is there to help designers create stunning websites, not to compete with the content that they are creating. DB5 interface is intuitive, responsive and only provides tools that are necessary for building and customizing websites. Next up is speed and performance. Now DB5 has undergone a significant performance haul, resulting a much faster and smoother visual builder experience as compared to DB4. This improved experience brings faster loading times, improved rendering speed and eliminates unnecessary animations in the builder that slows it down. With the new framework in place, the visual builder loads almost instantly. The visual builder also reacts faster, switching between responsive views, handles complex layout better and allows the user to see design adjustments in real time. So go ahead and download DV5 Public Alpha today and try it yourself. And feel free to let us know if you face any bugs, if you need any improvements or any feedback that you have for DV5 Public Alpha. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.